couple of years ago, I was looking for some sort of outlet for video uh, projects, and uh, I was looking around at the different ventures we have, and there was there just happened to be a, a gap, but there was nothing for video. So I kind of tossed around the idea of having a video production um, student-run venture. A student who has since graduated, uh, Justin Taylor, he had his capstone. So he was interested in making a film company. I told him that I had been thinking about it and we worked the entire semester putting that together. I've been really enjoying it because since I don't have any knowledge or background within this area, it's been great to learn how um, each of the positions work. As you saw, we switched positions today and it's been great learning how that works. I say for me at least is a lot with organization and time management. I think I learned how to take control of uh, the situation, how to, how to have good time, make sure everything's keeping up a pace that we're never falling behind. There's a creative side and a business side. So of course the creative side handles all of the um, getting the talent, getting the screenplays, getting the production, finding the location. And the business side, that deals with contracts, of course all the money, advertising and marketing as well, social media, things like that. And since it is a student-run venture, I try to step back as, as much as possible to let them go back and forth. Knowing how to communicate is big because one person could be doing one thing and it'd be throwing off your whole shot. So communication, knowing what each other is doing or how to work with each other is big because it that goes to the whole production itself. The biggest thing is how to work within a group. That's what the art tech degree really is. You're always going to be working in some sort of team. You're very rarely gonna be an autonomous artist in your own studio doing your thing. You're gonna be part of a team that creates a product. I think my favorite is being a director because uh, just because I have a lot of experience with it and I know how to deal with certain situations, how to uh, help people with the camera, help people with focus, um, it just makes I, I just I just find it way enjoyable when, especially when I make a piece and then I go and make the video because I've always been wanting to do that ever since I was in middle school. I always made videos as a kid. So whenever I go out, make videos, and then I come here in class and then I get to have the chance to be a director, um, it just makes me just be a little bit happy. It'd be camera op or first AC just because you get to work with the camera and see up close what is going on on the monitor and then also just doing the moves and angles is really cool get to see all the emotion and just it's really fun making that happen watching everything come together that's that's probably the best part the lighting is good the acting is good the direction is good that's what i think is the most rewarding thing because there's so many hurdles and so many setbacks that that is still rewarding in and of itself